Hello everyone and welcome back to our little frog spawn. There they are. These are the red frog eggs that we saw last time. We actually are visiting them first this time just because of the way we hiked the trail. And you can see the whole little cloud is there. It doesn't look like very many are missing, if any. In fact, if you look around, it's really hard to see on this camera. So I'm going to try to zoom in. I apologize, it's just a little phone camera. Let's see, like, yeah, you can't really tell because of the, the lighting. But there's some dots, like right there, and right there, and right there. And then like more of them right there. Those are little clouds of eggs as well. And we have binoculars with us so we can zoom in and look at them real close. And right now everybody is still just a little teensy dot. So they haven't really started to expand or spread or divide into tiny little frog tadpole embryos yet. And what's really interesting is with this cluster, we don't have any of the adults in the area that we did heard something plop into the water when we got close. But it's not like last time where they were actively sitting in their egg pile. In fact, I'm pretty sure that this spawn area, this little spawn nest, uh, has doubled in size now that I'm looking at it again since we were here. So they've been busy laying their eggs, but this doesn't seem to be a species. Um, as with many of the amphibian species, that sticks around after that. So there's nobody else here right now, and we don't hear any singing, some of that amazing deep low singing that we heard last time. However, we do hear singing coming from the other frog area. So we're going to go further down the creek and check in on those guys and see how the tadpoles are developing and if the frogs are still mating and laying their eggs. So this is really fun. Oh, I can't wait to see what's there. And look in there. Look at that hole. I bet somebody lives in that hole real happily. That's really cool. And for the record, I think that may be a mushroom. So it could be my first mushroom of the season. I'm going to see if I can climb down there with my stick and take a picture. So we'll see you guys at the other frog location. It's been two days since we've been here, so I wouldn't have expected a lot of development, but I'm really glad to see the eggs are still fine. So I'll see you guys in just a second. What is that? All that bubble, bubble, bubble? That was amazing. There was just a little stream of bubbles coming up. The water is a lot deeper than it looks. I think you're right, yeah. So I can't actually walk you over. Have a stick? You can see how deep the water is. Well, I do have a stick. <laughs> ah! I dropped my stick. Don't hit any frogs. I'm not going to hit any frogs. It's this good thing. Uh, eh. Oh, it looks like there might be air bubbles trapped underneath the leaf litter that might be because when you poke there were bubbles yeah up. yeah That's probably what we saw just air being released it's more fun to think it was a frog, yeah, was a frog. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were good at laying the eggs really far away and i'm not going to be rude and get like a log and walk on the log right that'd be rude why would you do that to get a good look at the eggs. Well, why don't you use these binoculars? Because that's not on my camera. I can't share it with everybody. He's on that bank. Is that a frog? Yeah.
amazing range of calls. Here we go. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Up close, right under my fingers, are the little eggs, the frog eggs. You can't really see any development just yet. There's still just little circles, itty bitty little circles, in the middle of a gelatinous egg capsule. But here are the results of all the hard work of the calling frogs that you heard a minute ago. Oh, and there he is again. They're chit-chatting. Right there. And I'm checking out a couple of the small egg piles that you can find. Look at these. Look at these. It's a huge pile of eggs. And if you get up close, I mean, just look at that. Isn't that the most amazing thing? But this is what they're protecting, and it's just tucked away. It blends in really well with the dark water. I can see itty bitty tiny water animals swimming in the water. And we're definitely not deterring some of those guys from singing, that's for sure. The sun's kind of setting, so they're like either rubbing up for the night or winding down for the day. And I found a place where we can get a really up close look, so we'll visit these over the coming weeks and hopefully get to watch their development a little bit. I really hope these egg piles do well. There's two right here. One little egg pile here, one little egg pile here, and then the big giant cluster is way up there. <laughs> and you can hear the frogs are still happy and healthy. I don't see any right away. I wish I had water boots on. I would go and see if we could at least locate where these guys are hiding. They're so cool. There's a whole bunch of them. But alright guys, we found the little mystery egg pile yet again and we'll keep an eye on it over the next few days. It's been two days so very little development so we'll check back in a little while. Interesting. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Stay curious.